G'day, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, we're going to look at multi-line strings in Delphi 12. So I have here a brand new fresh install of Delphi 12, and I'm just going to create a VCL application. So I have a couple of buttons and a memo. Throw these up here. a bit bigger. So that's our user interface done. So if I wanted to put some text into that memo, oops, uh, such as that, historically, and that is uh, sort of XE8 or later, I would go into multi-paste and add you know, member one dot lines dot add and then close it off and okay and there's our code for filling in that memo but new in delphi 12 let's create a button to click one dot text is assigned we have these triple quotes. Uh, let's paste that there and close that quote. And you'll see that it's all syntax highlighted as a string. So, and I will run this and go on button two. And there we have our string. And notice there is no indent at the beginning here. So. We have a couple of characters here in the string. So there's, uh, if I can get it with the, there we go. All of that uh, part of the string is excluded. And that's to do with where we have the location of our closing, um, closing quotes. So if I bring this back to here and run it again, oops that one, <laughs> we now have a two character indent because we've got a two character indent here based on our closing quote. So that will effectively do the same. Now if I wanted to go something like and last name equals Alistair, like so, we've got some single quotes in here and they're quite fine. In fact, um, no, let's just talk about the uh, <laughs> quotes first. So that works just fine. I can, of course, do double quotes as well, like so. So in fact, let's go Alistair's, like that. And there we have the double quote within a, uh, a string within a string. And, but if for some reason I need a triple quote, we've now run into problems because we are closing the string. But uh, fear not, what you can do is this is not, not entirely a triple quote uh, <laughs> syntax, but a large number of, a uh, large odd number of quotes. Um, so. I can increase this to five and this to five. And here I've got my triple or quadruple uh, quotes. And it handles that just fine. Now, I'd also probably put that on a new line like that as well. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm of the opinion. So if true, then. So I have my uh, begin on a fresh line. I'm aware that some people like to do that. Um, I find that abhorrent, um, like equally, equally annoying. I don't like this, that kind of uh, begin end either. Um, definitely sort of traditional uh, Pascal syntax. So anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to do for this video. So multi-line strings, constants, and what have you. 
all perfectly good. And we can increase the number of quotes uh, at the beginning and end to cater for as many as many quote marks as we want. And the indentation is based on where your quote ends. So here we have uh, no indentation on these, you know, the, the width, but I could double indent, push that out like that, and there we have a, a big indentation in here. And I can compensate that. We go back to a, a one less indent, so now we've only got two characters in here. So that's new in Delphi 12. Um, I think it's going to be good. I don't know yet. Uh, I haven't used it in real world applications. It's a bit like inline variables. Um, it's going to take a while before we sort of discover whether this is a good idea. I think other languages have had it for a while, so it's probably going to be a good thing. Of course, lots of Delphi parsers are going to need to be updated to support it. So there might be, if you're using some code, static code analysis or something like that, along with your uh, application, you might not be able to do this for a while until until it's supported in third-party products. So I'm Alistair. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. I will be doing some more videos on what's new in Delphi 12, and I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll catch you in the next.